life is one wild experience. In the massive picture of existence, there's one overly bright pixel that stands out. The element of trusting yourself. It's not just a confident, warm feeling you might mistake it for. It's the rock-solid foundation on which your life story plays out. The foundation is what it is, I repeat. In the realm of civil engineering, the foundation of a structure is given the prime importance. All the glitter and glamour you want to utilize to beautify whatever you're building, it holds no value if it were to tumble down without standing the test of time. Without a core foundation, the building is pointless, futile, and it's the same for you. There are certain pillars that our character needs to stand on. Life's a constant learning curve. A school where you pick up lessons in toughness, adaptability, and knowing who you are. It starts by ditching the idea that learning is only for the young. You must learn all your life, from your successes and more from your failures. The losers are usually weak-minded. They love to carry the blame for every one of their misfortunes. It goes back to their foundation, which is pretty much non-existent. They can't view a defeat as nothing more than tough luck but they label themselves as eternally cursed, someone who will try a million times and fail a million times, hampering them from even imagining a better reality for themselves. Remember, you die when you stop dreaming. If only they knew that when everything hits the fan, when all light is lost, that's when a voice speaks out to you from your core. It calms you and assures you that you're not the error in the equation. What you're going through is only a wave one may be a bit larger and scarier than the usual, but nothing you've never encountered before. In those moments, it's that foundation, that faith in who you are, which pushes you to keep going and make it through. We either build or trap ourselves with our habits, attitudes, and routines. It's like we're our own architects. As you grow and fully understand the world, it becomes clear what's truly important. Learning from work, close ones, and unexpected scenarios you gracefully take on life's obligations, suffering, risks, love, constantly sculpturing your character, facing life's curveballs with dignity, obtaining the strength to deal with the unchangeable, steering clear of the self-pity that drowns many. There's a special connection we've got to maintain with ourselves amidst life's chaos. It's like a commitment to self-discovery, acknowledging that progress and growth stops with us. No blaming others or the universe. You must take charge, View the world with a lens of enthusiasm, and you're on the path to a meaningful life beyond your little ego. Excessive self-admiration or importance drags many down a horrific road of self-destruction. When you bloat your perception of self, the smallest of scars exaggerate themselves to appear as unrecoverable losses. Those of high value get it. Confidence isn't about copying or imitating others. It's about recognizing and building on your own unique strengths. Trusting yourself, like it's said, is embracing the newness and uniqueness of your abilities. It's committing to grow from your innate power, waving goodbye to envy and imitation. In a world soaked in constant comparison, trying to be someone else is somewhat like banging your head against a brick wall. You envy and you imitate what you believe you don't possess, but envy is ignorance and imitation is suicide. Ignoring your authentic self, your personal strengths and peaks, leads to self-inflicted limits. I don't mean to sugarcoat, but your power is one of a kind, never seen before in the vast universe. I mean that for every single individual watching this video right now. The only reason you've not been able to find something to be proud of yourself is because you spend all your time trying to emulate what you see on the outside. You see all kinds of successes out there, and think that maybe if I did just that, I'd be a better man. Don't deceive yourself into believing you're the one person who probably lacks it. It's simply not true. You just haven't looked hard enough, both internally and externally. And truth be told, you're not entirely to blame. Parents, mentors, and society unknowingly push the copy-paste agenda. They constantly point out the other kids you need to be like. They offer you case studies to show what worked for someone and probably might for you if you do it right and put in enough hard work. You're constantly bombarded with these comparisons to show you that a kid many years younger than you 
already accomplished a lot more than you in less time. It doesn't matter if it's done with positive intentions. The fact is, it's profoundly damaging. What society could have done is encouraged folks to find their own unique strengths, show them that they have the freedom to explore and just figure things out themselves. There might be something that's a must have for somebody else or even the majority, but it doesn't necessarily have to be yours too. Remember, picking what brings joy in both sunshine and storms needs some soul searching. Next, don't mistake confidence and self-belief to be a static thing. It's a growing understanding of your desires, dreams, and commitments. As you age, figuring out what gets you up in the morning becomes a big deal. Testing your self-confidence isn't just a one-time gig. It's about trying, failing, getting up, and enduring hardships. It's about not losing the will to move forward despite all the setbacks. Your imagination isn't a luxury either. It's the X factor of being human. It guides you through the heaps of challenges, adding a dash of joy to the journey, however small. It's about finding joy in moving towards freedom, towards liberation from the trials of a time. In life's grand symphony, the saying, trust thyself, echoes deep, resonating in every heart. Trusting yourself is about embracing your uniqueness, not resorting to mere imitation, and realizing the power within is the key to solving your life's greatest puzzles. As you trust yourself, you not only navigate life's maze like a veteran, but also inspire others to kick off their own journeys. Trust becomes a guiding light, illuminating the path to success, resilience, and a life of authenticity. So, just trust yourself, your abilities, your potential. Consider the tale of Steve Jobs, someone we now know as a visionary, but once would have been treated like the average Joe. In the face of much skepticism and doubt, he persisted, trusting his instincts and unique abilities. Jobs didn't succumb to the pressures of his early life. Instead, he chose the road he knew was right for him, where he'd have the freedom to be himself. The road less traveled, when paved with self-trust, leads to unprecedented success. Trusting oneself is not a solitary endeavor, but a collective anthem of those who dared to believe in their capabilities. So, as you navigate the roller coaster we call life, let the stability of self-trust guide you, and may your journey echo with the harmonies of success, resilience, and an authentic life well lived. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.